Hello my friends, yes, yes, this is Matilda and welcome to Tilda's Cookbook. Today's recipe of uh, Greek Courambier, this uh, delicious Christmas cookie covered with powdered sugar, is the second recipe on my channel, equally delicious like the first one. But uh, today I have covered it uh, with white chocolate, a bit uh, more modern, which is a very delicate uh, sweet taste. So for this wonderful recipe, let's get started. We will use uh, 250 grams of uh, butter and I'm using sheep butter, but uh, you need to use a good quality butter. That's all that counts. 100 uh, grams of powdered sugar, 450 grams of soft flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, which is approximately two and a half grams, 25 uh, ml of brandy, or you can use vanilla or just plain water if you wish for children and 100 grams of uh, roasted almonds. And for covering our courambier, I'm going to use 225 grams of uh, white chocolate, 23 ml of uh, vegetable oil, and I'm gonna sprinkle on top some uh, dark chocolate that I have shredded, but this is only optional. In my stand mixer with the whisk attachment, I'm gonna add my butter, which I have in room temperature. And I'm going to mix it for five minutes until it fluffens up and uh, becomes creamy. Then I will add the sugar. and mix it again for another five minutes. A little bit before the end, I also add the brandy and mix it for another couple of minutes or so. I actually let it be uh, 10 minutes because... And as soon as it starts uh, forming a dough, I'll start uh, mixing it by hand. Take all the dough out and I'll start adding a little bit of flour. And knead the rest by hand until I have a nice soft dough that I could form into little cookies. After I have kneaded for a couple of minutes, see what a nice soft dough I have. I'm going to add the almonds that I have chopped and mix everything together again until they're all blended. There it is. I have a nice soft buttery dough. I am going to weigh um, each piece at approximately 20 grams in order to be able to make them into a little bite and then I will form them into cookies. I have lined my tray with parchment paper and then I'm gonna take each of those and just knead them a little bit and make them into little balls and press them just a tiny bit like this. My first batch is ready, so it's going to go into the oven. After 20 minutes, my first batch is ready. Look at them. So 
I'm going to put them one by one on a cooling rack and look underneath this is how they are and the second batch is also ready in Ben Marie which is a low boiling uh, water I'm gonna put uh, a glass bowl you can put metal as well, but you have to make sure if it's glass that it's heat resistant. And I'm going to pour in my chocolate. And the bigger one, I've uh, cut it into smaller pieces. And slowly I'm going to start mixing it until it melts down. After my chocolate has uh, started melting a little bit, I'm going to add my oil, the vegetable oil, to help it get um, more homogenized and also that gives it a nice shine. I moved my chocolate into a smaller bowl just to be able to dip my curambier a little better. I'll dip each of them in there, drain the excess, and then put them on a rack with parchment paper underneath so that they can dry up. And while they're draining the excess of the chocolate, I'm going to sprinkle some chocolate uh, chips on top, just to give them a little bit of a festive note. And because we like the traditional courabier, most of them, I'm going to dip them into powdered sugar. To get a lot. And I'll put them on my tray. Finally, the rest of my powdered sugar, I'm going to sprinkle it on top of my courabier. I'm gonna snow them with powdered sugar to make them really, really white, sweet and delicious. And as soon as my chocolate uh, cools down, I'm going to put the rest of my corambia here. Look at this. So let's go and taste them. The chocolate has not set very well yet. You see it gets stuck, but let's try it. It is incredible. My friends, it's so fluffy and crunchy with the almonds. It's amazing. Even if you don't feel like putting the white chocolate on top, which gives it a delicious taste, trust me. I would suggest you try the plain ones. They're absolutely incredible. I hope to see you all back next time, my friends. Until then, I wish you all the best for the coming holiday and health to you and your families. Happy baking. Kekalisa Sorexi. Bye-bye, everyone.